Well, there's a lot I like about uh, Ultimate Products Global Sourcing, or UPGS as we call it, um, which I consider to be an important growth stock and, and one that's ca capable of delivering long-term shareholder value and good returns for investors. The key things I'd focus on are the brands, the business, uh, and, and the management, uh, as well, of course, uh, as the valuation. UPGS has lovely brands. Um, these are brands that really do give its customers a, a feel-good uh, factor, but at affordable prices. And it's got a lovely eclectic mix of some very good names, uh, Beldre, Salter, uh, Russell Hobbs, uh, and Progress. And these are all brands which, which belong in the home, they're household brands, uh, and they're capable of delivering growth, even in a mature market economy, like the UK. I like the business structure a lot. I like the fact that it's not a manufacturer, it's not a retailer, um, it, it, it's, um, it's not, not a, a big warehouse operator for online. It, it's basically a company which sources products uh, and tailors those through that into, into some very good items which belong in any household, which are very relevant, affordable, and then it on-sells those items um, very quickly into uh, you know, a number of distribution channels, uh, whether it's online, whether it's um, the, the food multiples, the big four supermarkets, whether it's uh, discounters, it, it sells them on, on into, into the market. Uh, I really like the management team. Uh, the, both co-founders uh, are still involved in the business uh, and they've got a very energetic um, managing director. These are people who've been in the business a long time. They know the business uh, and, and, and they drive it and they drive it, drive it well. Yeah, I, I like the valuation of, of this company a lot. Uh, there have been some well-publicised failures in consumer-related uh, businesses in the UK this year. However, I would remind people that most of those um, have come from businesses which uh, have been heavily involved in, in real estate and heavily involved in, in, in distribution. Uh, and I wouldn't say that, you know, that, that UPGS you know, falls into that category uh, at all. Um, and so when I look at the business uh, and I think of you know, what we talk about, the, the at the enterprise value, in other words, the market cap of all the shares and, 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 the, and the debt. And I look and think, well, you know, what, what would I pay for this business? What is that business really worth to me? And I'd say it's probably worth an EV to sales ratio of around about one times based on 2019 um, sales. And if we make that calculation and divide by the number of shares, you know, we're looking at something around about a pound a share. Now they're currently trading uh, at about a third of that level. So there's definitely, in our view, a great opportunity to make a substantial amount of money. And I'd also remind people that you know, this is a company that's got significant headroom on its debt, um, it's not necessarily you know, instinctively a cash-absorbing business, and therefore, but it's paying a, a lovely dividend yield of around 8%. So you know, it's a very, very good investment in my view indeed.